Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. In the last video, I did my bedroom makeover as you guys can see, I'll link it of course, and my kitchen makeover, but now we're going to our bathroom makeover. I'm going to be doing a video on my main bathroom and of course, in the next video, we're gonna be doing my guest bathroom. So I'm so excited to bring this to you guys. Everything that I'm gonna be using is gonna be linked in the description box. Even if I bought things from places in Jamaica, I'm going to let you guys know on the screen, like let you guys know, of course, verbally, and then it's gonna be linked down below if any of you guys need that information. So let's get into this video. I think I'm gonna do a mixture of voiceovers and like talking. So let's get into it. So this is the empty tour of the bathroom, pink walls. It's very nice, but I want to switch it up a little bit to give it my style. So that's what we're going to get into right now. All right, we're finally taking this thing down. I thought I needed a drill to unloose these screws, but good thing I followed my instinct. I was, I was like, let me just try a flathead screwdriver. Girl, look at it. It's coming out already. I was like, yeah. Yeah, so I started to unscrew everything and it took two minutes to do everything to be honest. It was really easy. Guys, ignore my appearance, please. I'm going to put the nails in here and then I'm going to put them back into the cabinet and then store it away. So I know that the, these nails are for that cabinet. So whenever I move out, they'll know exactly where everything is. I bought very white and bright semi-gloss paint from a store in Spallings. And I think it was less than $3,000. I paid like two something. But as you can see, the walls are a very nice soft pink and honestly i would stay with it but i wanted to add my own touch so that's why i'm going in with the white because i can add color back in with the decor so as you can see i'm just i was so lazy this day guys i switched into my paint clothes and then i cut a old water jug and poured it in anything sweet you when so i are but yeah, so I was just like, um, whatever. So I put down the tripolin. Honestly, guys, I painted the whole apartment by myself in white. So I was like, oh, this bathroom's going to be a breeze. So this is why I didn't follow any of the protocol by putting like enough tripolin on the ground. I didn't tape up the sockets. I didn't tape around the bathroom, shower. And the reason for that is because mm, I can go in later. So as you can see, it's very nice and pretty. It took me like two days, two, three days. But now you guys see that since I was being lazy, now I have to go in with cleanup and I'm going to take off all the paint. It's water paint, so it's so easy to take off. I just use a little bit of water and then I go in with my scraper and I just want to show you guys that it's everywhere. So as you can see, I'm just going in with the scraper and my cloth and I'm scraping it off and wiping it down with the wet, well, a damp cloth, I can say. So I wanted to do this just to make sure when I'm going to clean up the bathroom, everything is prepped. There's no paint in the way and I feel good about cleaning because who wants to live in a bathroom and there's just paint splatters everywhere and i tell you guys again this is a rental friendly hack if you guys move into a space and there's paint anywhere even though i cause this paint right here okay the ground is finally all cleaned i'm just gonna have to clean out the shower now so you guys can come along with so i bought these at dollar tree they're door stoppers they come in brown and black but i got white since my aesthetic at my house is white it looks i'm gonna put the door here because as you can see, the door does not want to stay back. I literally live here by myself, so there's no reason for me to lock my doors, but this is how it looks. I'll link similars down below in the description box. Okay, forgot to show you guys, but this is a brand that sent me this mirror. These mirrors, but I only got one. But listen, I went to the hardware with the electrician, and we picked up this. It was super cheap. It was like less than 500. I think it was like $500 maybe or less than 500. So we bought this and he literally hooked it up because remember there was only like the wires here. Yeah, he hooked it up and now it works perfectly fine. I wanted to give you guys an update on this because if you guys get this, it's hard wire. So you're just going to have to find someone who knows how to put this together. And one thing about Jamaica, people know how to do a lot of stuff down here. I'm so happy and like literally it cost me nothing for him to do it because like it was so quick. He did it so fast, probably like five to 10 minutes. And then now we're going to do these. Yes, yes, yes. We're here putting up the mirror and I'm not really skilled yet. My mom was telling me it's easy to do it, but I'm not skilled yet to put stuff in concrete. Well, it's because it's concrete, so. We're gonna set up everything right now. Before this gets installed, I wanted to show you guys how it looks. So this is what I got from Pat Morris. It's a whole system kit. They're charging me. Can you guys guess? Well, it said 17,000 to install it. And the reason why is because you have to run wiring and all this stuff. An electrician has to come and a plumber has to come. So it's double the work. So yeah, so 
pop more than smallings. They have like three different kits. You can choose from and I chose the middle kit because of the wattage here. Something along those lines, but yeah. Okay, let's go install. That's it. That's it? Okay, this is it. Well, this is the inside work, girl, guys. Tell me how I thought I could probably do this and, I was, and then I looked up the instructions and I was like, yeah, professional. And it took them a long time, so that's why they charged me so much, I'm assuming. And they did it neat, because they have like this. And they were saying, oh, did they want me to put this cord in with this? And I was like, nah, because I'm gonna have to call a professional to undo everything. And here is the switch I'm going to be using, but it's not on yet. I'm back now, so this is the hot water. Okay, so this is a hot water switch. They installed it. So check in your apartment if you have these. I, we ha I had these from a long time. So excited, let me show you guys. Is this on? Yeah. So it's going to light up and get super hot. It is so burning far and hot. Far and hot. And this is my mirror. And with the mirror here, I love it so much. Decor pot will be linked down below. Turn off, on, and you can change the brightness levels. See how it's getting darker? And then I'll touch it again to make it brighter. And this is the defogger, so it doesn't like fog up when I'm bidding in my hot water. This is how the bathroom fully looks. I just wanna give you guys a preview right before we begin putting in all the decor, the fave, the fun part. Now these are all the products that are in the hallway that I'm finally taking out of the hallway that I can put between the two bathrooms. So I'm gonna go through that in a bit. All right, so there was two holes above the mirror where the old brown thing was. So I am actually filling it and I have this three in one fill kit that I got from Amazon, which I'll link down below. So after doing that, I noticed that it wasn't the same color. So I was like, oh my God, I have to go in with the paint that I used to paint in the apartment. So that is what I'm doing right now. So I go in with the paint, guys, okay? So I'm painting and painting. And then after I realized that the white that I paint, the rest of the apartment is not the same white in the bathroom. So I'm like, okay, yeah, no. <laughs> All right, so my sister was in the living room setting up the over the toilet stand, which we'll get back into in a bit. Okay, so back to the bathroom. Now we're gonna work on storage solutions, some organization. So I got some adhesive shelving from Amazon that you can put anywhere in your bathroom as long as they're on tile i got like four different sets i'm showing you the second set that i got that i don't think i'm going to use because the thickness is not the same as the first set that i showed you guys so right now i'm with my niece and she's just helping me and we're going to be putting up the adhesive shelving all over the back part of the shower now this shower is actually huge guys it may not be showing on the camera as well so so far so easy and so good and so I'm gonna go in and put on the other one. So the set comes with two, so I don't know what she's up to, to be honest, but she's just playing games right now. No, the set comes with two and I bought two sets. So there's a big one and a small one. I put the two big ones right beside each other and then I put the sm smaller ones right underneath. Guys, as you can see, it's really easy. Anyone can do it. And back into the living room, my sister's still setting up the shelving unit. I'm gonna come help her in a bit. <laughs> I don't know if she's struggling. It seems like she is. So now I'm back. I want to show you guys where I got it. I'll link it down below. And then I'm putting on the two smaller ones at the bottom. And I left space for the taller products. So the big, huge shampoos, conditioners, and all of that great stuff, okay? And guys, the reason why it took me so long to do this is because I was doing it freehand. And then I tried going with a washable marker to try and make it straight. But, you know, I tried my best, to be honest. And it sticks. It sticks and it does not fall. It's such good quality and I would highly recommend it. And they come with hooks that you can hang up rags or loofahs or exfoliator gloves. But we'll go into that decorating part later on in the video. I love these. Would recommend And They come in different colors if anyone is interested. I think stainless steel and black and they do not get rusty, rust proof. Hi guys, I'm back again. I'm going to be putting on the soap holder. If you didn't know, I like bathing with bar soap and I have shower routines down below. That's what I was hinting to. So I'm showing you guys that I got some soap holders from the other set that I bought. It's not as thick and nice as the other one. So I'm like, okay, let me put up this. So as you can see, I'm putting it up on the wall and I'm putting the soap holder where I like shower at the front. Now I'm going in with some more organization tools because unfortunately the bathroom didn't come with like a soap dish dispenser. Well, okay, 
let me show you guys so this is how it looks where my sink is the sink is super small what can you hold on it let's be real so i had to use my mind i'm like okay what can i include to make this space a little bit more user friendly i cannot pack up everything on this small little sink here thank god for amazon guys and the affordability so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be putting up the towel holder because i need to put somewhere to dry my hands so i put up a towel holder it's self-adhesive you guys can buy it too if you live in jamaica of course and the soap holder is self-adhesive too i just don't like how the brand is at the front but as you guys can see it's so nice it's so easy and it's renter friendly that's what i love all stick on and none of them have fell in here you go so this is my toothbrush holder this is my soap holder so basically what I was saying here is that I forgot that I bought extra soap holders for the tub and I like these ones better because of the practicality of it. I can easily like swipe in and swipe out the soap. But the black one, like it kind of goes in more so you have to like grip out the soap out of it and I'm like, no, nah, that's not practical. When you're breathing, you just want to drop the soap down and pick the soap up as quick and easy. That's the one for in the bathtub, of course, and it matches the stainless steel appliances. Rust proof, of course, as you can see, it's big and nice. Okay, I'm back in the open space, and that's Nana's cat, if you see a cat running around. So we're just setting up the over-the-toilet stand. She was having some trouble, but she finally figured it out, so I was just doing the minor thing. So we're just talking, we're bringing the rack over into the bathroom, and we're just looking at it to see how it looks, and then we're going to tighten the bottom part so it doesn't move as much like it's more straight not lean and then this is how it looks it's cute i wish i didn't get the color of that board but it still works if i had like a lighter like oak color it would look so good the set also comes with a basket that you just put together which she did and then and then it also comes with like these i don't know like clips because as you can see oh my gosh the rock is so flimsy and i was like oh maybe i can overlook it and i was like no 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 we're gonna have to drill this into the wall so good thing my mom brought her drill kit with her when she was coming so what we're doing is just seeing how we're gonna drill it onto the wall and then she started drilling because she did her measurements and stuff and then here we are we ended up moving it and putting in everything that's needed to put in i went in with my small handheld vacuum that i use for my windows and it's so cute i bought it on amazon super affordable and i'm just cleaning up all the dust instead of like sweeping i'm just gonna vacuum up everything as much as i can obviously i'm gonna sweep later on but you know these things as you can see, so much dust, concrete actually, that's what it is from the wall. So we're putting the rack against the wall and drilling it back in. And here we have it. It's sturdy and it's not going to drop. And anytime I put products on or off, it's not going to shake and then things are going to fall off. So that's good. That's good. Hi. So now we're going to tackle this problem here. It's a lot. I'm going to have to switch it between two of the bathrooms and Nana is going to help me bring these in. So I'm back now. It's much brighter because the thunderstorm is over. So as you can see, we have these here. That's just like in case for like a face soap. And then this is for body. We have my stand here. It looks nice. All my products we're going to organize. Some of these are going to the guest bathroom. Maybe. I don't think so, but we'll see. All right, so I am putting up the products onto the shelving and I'm showing you guys that it's not going to drop anytime soon. These are big bottles, okay? I know someone was like trying to criticize me on the products that I buy, especially if I buy from Walmart and I buy the Walmart brand. I was like, it's not a big deal. Why can't we try out products and see if we like them? Anyways, and this is my niece, Nana. She's not my daughter. People think she's my child. Yeah, weird. I'm just organizing my things and this is how it looks it looks so pretty you guys follow me on tiktok if you guys want to see more videos of my bathroom and i'm just with nana we're taking a quick break we're having pizza and stuff um yeah so i'm putting up my air freshener i bought this air freshener at walmart okay the reason why i was saying that i can't have a night light is because i totally forgot that the mirror that i have at nighttime when i turn it off it like glows so i was like oh i don't even need a night light what was i sweating about because i don't really want a dark bathroom especially at night when i'm using the bathroom and i'm back to organizing the shelf nana was helping me nana adventures what would i do without her because she was just passing me the products and i was just throwing them on quick i was exhausted guys and i was tired but i had to get this done i was like i need to finish all of this for today and then maybe tomorrow i do something else man so yeah so this has been great so far I'm gonna have to sleep on this. I have to find a storage solution for this for in here because I don't want to keep these in my bedroom, but I'm gonna think about it first. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys um, this. So so this is a toilet 
full cleaner and then I can take off this. So as you can see, it is black. It's hidden, it's sleek, it's nice. I'm gonna put it right here. I think it'll look nice. I'm thinking about what to do with here. Should I put rags in here? I have a lot of soap. Should I put ex extra soaps in here? Oh, speaking of soap, let me open two soaps because I shower with soaps. So I'll put one inside the bathtub right now. All right, so now I'm just cleaning up the bathroom, any excess stuff that I have. Nana's gonna help me stock. So we're in the stocking portions. I'm showing you guys the shelving. This is like the semi end result. And then we're putting more stock on, <laughs> mainly the soaps. <laughs> and then we're filling in these stuff. So this is a toothbrush and the toothpaste I've used already, obviously. And then my hand soap I got from Bath and Body Works. Okay, so right. I got the shower curtains, the shower liner with magnetic, the mag magnets at the bottom so it doesn't move. And this I just took to my mom's house. And it's mainstay, so it's from Walmart. Okay, now I'm gonna be putting up the shower curtain. I was like, girl, I need some help. So my mom helped. Nana was just there, probably just talking. Let me tell you guys, the reason why we were acting like that is because we put the metal shower curtain hooks on the metal rod. My mom was like, oh, I don't think you should have these on here. It's gonna hurt your ears. And I was like, what? <laughs> Off they go. So we put on the plastic ones, and then we, I don't know where the rest of the plastic ones are. Okay, this is how the bathroom looks. I wish the shower curtain was a little bit thicker, but I only paid, I only paid $10, so what do I expect, to be honest? Let's be real. Okay, I'm having some dilemmas right now, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about it. I kind of wish I didn't get the rugs in gray. I bought this rug set from Walmart. I think I showed you guys it. It's a two set, a small one to go by where the sink is, and a bigger one to go by where the shower is but i don't think i'm gonna like it because i really like how this looks beside the shower like it's just really nice and if i choose to put this by the shower it's gonna look mismatched because put this by the shower put the next one by the sink it's gonna look mismatched so i'm thinking i hope tomorrow we're gonna go on the road to mandeville i'm gonna hope that i can find something similar to this i think they might have something like this in small inks i'm gonna try my best in luck because i don't want to mismatch thing but let's try it out and see how it looks so Oh, it's too gray. Okay, hey, it doesn't look too bad. It's actually amazing quality and it's cushiony and it feels good, but it's not giving. It's cheap. Yeah, I kind of like this more. <laughs> I'm in a dilemma right now. You guys don't even understand. It's giving mismatched. It's giving. I might have to change the shower curtain. Yeah, it's not giving. Hey, back, I bought some towels and rags and all that great stuff from Walmart. They're only $10 quality. We have to make sure that Walmart sells two types of towels. Like they're really thin and it's not thick and plush. And then they sell the thick and plush ones, which I got. What is it? What is it called? Trust me, when it comes to towels, I've been through the cheap ones. I've been through the thick ones. So I really like the thick and plush ones. This is the spa ones. Guys, spend the money on it at Walmart. So in case any of you guys take a screenshot, it is highly absorbent and extremely soft. So I didn't think of other storage solutions, but for now, we're going to use this for the towels. I'm going to put two towels in here and then I guess the other two can go in the guest bathroom for now. Honestly, I don't know how to do this nice, but we're going to try. So I don't like how this bathroom is turning out. I have too much gray, like my rugs are gray, my shower curtain is gray. My is gray. It's like I wasn't thinking. I don't think I was thinking. So I'm gonna go tomorrow to Mandeville and Spalling and Christiana and I'm gonna search for uh, different colored towels or most likely I'm gonna search for different color. I'm gonna search for different color shower curtains and I'm gonna look for new rugs, okay? I need to I need to bring color into here. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys. <gasps> okay, let me show you guys what I got. So I got another heavy duty shower curtain liner. The one that I got, I think I bought it for like $10. Maybe that's why. But it's good and it's fine and it's perfect. But I feel like it should have been more heavier and thicker. So I went to Bashko. Bashko never, no, like Maxi's. And I paid this much for it. And it comes with the 
Magnetics. You need the magnet. Even though I, I listen. My thing is not magnetic friendly. It's just tiles. But it's okay because it's weighing it down and it won't fly up when the, wa the hot water <laughs> is washing it down. So this is it, and it's really it's like thick and nice. So remember I showed you guys yesterday about the blue, the blue hand rag, the royal blue. I tried. I think I found no. The one in Bashko is actually brighter. Good thing I didn't go for it. I bought this one. I don't think it's the same blue, but it's similar. So we're gonna. I have two of these in case. We use one of the shower curtains. So I got one of these. And then I got this at M51. I call it M51 because that's the name of the building. And I got this. This was $800. They sold the same exact thing. But a little bit taller, a little bit skinnier for like $1,200. i am like, are you buying a garbage bin? So this is sleek and nice. It comes, they sell it in white as well. And then I got this little plant here. This was from Fontana Farming for $1,000. But I was like, whatever, who cares? So I got it, but I don't know if it's gonna look good. I got it from the top of here. How much? Thousand. You could just got a real one, bro. Really? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. you can actually. I but I just wanted to see because I wanted to put a plant in it, but this is too short. I wanted something tall to like hang down. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. Let me see. Honestly, I wouldn't get anything to hang down. Really. I think so. I think it looks fine. But this should be down here so people can grab it. Really take it oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> you guys see it? No, no, no. Yesterday when she was just passing. I was putting on. I didn't really plan out everything because I still don't know what I'm gonna put in this. But yeah, so the air freshener I put down here. This is what I bought. These at Fontana Pharmacy was $1,299 for the pack. So I was like thinking I could probably break up the eye sight. Because sometimes you want to make the eye look. And put like a bin right here. And it's gray because I try to complement with this gray here. It's not the same but similar. So I was in a dilemma for so long because I was like, should I use oh bring this home now? I don't really like no, this is the real one. Okay, this is not too bad. No, it's not bad at all. I didn't want to get white because I'm like white. It's probably like so dirty. I feel like the beige off white look good. So I bought two. I bought this one in the blue one, and I'm gonna see which one is better. Oh, and I think I bought these for like 1,200, 1,300. Where is it? Let me show you guys. From Bashko never fails me. Like I made sure I put Bashko last on my list of stores to go to because I know Bashko is gonna have it and it's at affordable cost. I don't know about you guys. You guys live one like said. You guys not shop at Bashko because of, I don't know what, honestly, but I'm gonna shop there because they have literally everything that you need and it's affordable. Maybe the quality is not there for certain items, but one thing with Maxi's and I like Maxi's, but Maxi's reminds me of a winner's in a home sense that whatever you see, you have to get it exactly because if you, if you don't get it at that time, you're not gonna get it back. So it moves nice. Yeah, it actually is. Give me some help again. We are trying out the different curtains that we bought to see what would look nice and what would not look nice just to see how everything's looking yes so this curtain is a little bit too long so we're gonna just make a little hole and bend it if you guys have any other suggestions you guys can leave them down below yeah. i didn't know there was like a i didn't I read the width. width yeah especially for like, I know, like for the shower curtain different ones yeah we know about length but the width we didn't know that i should have bought a width that was matching the shower curtain with okay. moment of truth no! That's it's too short! What do you mean it's too short? The shower curtain! You think so? As in with. Oh, and it kind of looks cheap! Hold on, hold on. Let's put the silver the silver ones on and see if it makes a difference. I'm saying maybe this is actually the right size for this. For this, that's short. Yeah, the width of the yellow one is too short. Oh, it's not. I feel like it's upside down, but it's not. Oh, because it looks so mm -hmm. wide. Let's just see how it looks. The only thing is, if I use a gray shower curtain, I would have to change the rugs. rugs. I would change them to blue, maybe. Or even red. Any any color, to be honest. Exactly. Whenever I put gray curtains up, I usually put blue mats or red mat. Something like black, but that makes it too dark. So I'm gonna switch back to the gray, and then we're gonna do the blue. We're gonna take out these and do blue. I don't know what I was thinking, getting all gray, everything. Had a bit too much mimosas there. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. This these this mat actually feels good too. That's why I don't really want to change it compared and, to my other mat. And these mats they absorb everything. Yeah. So if you guys get these mats, they're at Walmart. Got Walmart. Yeah, they're around twenty dollars. I have this in gray, blue, black. Really? Yeah. Cause they're so good. Yeah. So we're just gonna put on the gray and do blues. So we'll do hints of blues in here just to break it up. Ooh. So we're just changing out the plastic 
hooks to the silver ones because we thought they were cute. That actually came with the set with the grayish purplish shower curtain that I bought at Extra Extra. So yeah, it looks good. It's cute and it's a little bit different. We're back again to the towels. We put up the gray shower curtain. We're gonna move these. So I brought these on the plate. Actually, not for nothing. These towels are really nice. If I can get like something in here that can put towels, like even above the door, this would be good for storage. The only problem, the only problem I have is storage solution. Like sometimes you go to the stores them and then you can't find anything at the time. I have to say that because when I went to go to Maxi's to buy like the bench for my bedroom, it wasn't there at the time I wanted and I went back today and it was there and I got it. That will be for a different vlog, but if they're just, sometimes things are not there. It's a blue, it, this is not actually as, long and thick and bright as the gray ones why they're so short yeah so i'm taking off the blue towels because it just didn't look good so we're gonna switch back to the gray i guess i'm gonna be a gray girl <laughs> oh my bathroom's gonna be all gray but we're gonna work with it for this video just to let you guys know m51 doesn't accept international cards so make sure you guys have your jamaican money make sure you guys have your jamaican cards in so i went to go look for my infamous Double sided, Lisa, you'll see double sided tape on the counter right there. So I was looking for this tape, but they're all sold out because it's so good and people are finding out about it. Sad story, so I have to get this one. I don't think it's gonna be as strong and sturdy as this one, and this one's basically finished, which is actually sad. So I'm gonna try this to put on the two picture frames. So they're just like bathroom pictures. Like, So update, do not buy this tape, it sucks so bad. It couldn't even get stuck to her finger. It was a waste of money, but it was only a hundred and something dollars. So I kind of expected it wasn't going to work, but honestly, we had to use some super glue. I'm not even going to joke, like shoe glue. <laughs> and put up my frames on the wall, wouldn't recommend. So I'm just cleaning up the excess on the ground. And I'm going to actually go in and start organizing this little corner here. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with all that in a bit. Hopefully in the future, I might book up on something where I can use as an organizer in the bathroom because as you can see there's still a little bit more space. This is my disinfectant. So I had to use a spray bottle because I don't like these spray bottles and I didn't have anything more aesthetic. Okay. This is my disinfectant here. The spray is a little taste smell good. I'm gonna put a cloth on here too just so people like I know that it's just that cloth for the bathroom. And then this is the toilet bowl cleaner. A quick walkthrough. Everything's gonna be linked down below if anyone obviously wants. This is my mirror that you can change the lighting level. I think I already showed you guys how so it turns off. It turns on, goes darker. That's the dimmest. And it goes all the way up to the brightest. And then we put on this hook here. We have air freshener, it smells good. Actually, this is not my favorite scent of air freshener, but it still smells good. And then, we have this here, hand towel, hot water heater, soap, soap holder, soap to wash your hands, toothbrush, toothpaste, and then we have one of the rugs, because this bathroom is actually big, so I put two, and then garbage bin, toilet paper, cleaning products, the toilet, the toilet stand, um, the over the toilet stand. I got this one, as I told you guys, because the ones in that they're selling down here, it's either there was way too much money or it was super flimsy. I put the blue towels, so we still added the color. So blue there, and then we put the blue towels in here for extras. We got the plant, and then we organized this way better. Okay, and I had to buy more products. So shower curtain, we stuck with the gray like we told you guys. But gray, I didn't, honestly, I didn't want all of this to be gray. The two picture frames, I have like bathroom stuff. I didn't want all gray. Okay, Window, I live in the bush. And then, ta-da, this is my favorite part of the bathroom. So convenient now. If you feel like you're low on storage, get these for your bathroom and you'll free up some storage space because you can put stuff here. I have so much space left for more products and then you can have all your, all the products that I use in the tub here, washing my hair, my body care. That's all I have, things to wash my hair. So hair care and body care is all that I put inside the tub. And then body soap and the shower head. Remember, this is a rental unit. So honestly, even in a rental, you can change these. But honestly, I don't care, to be honest, because like everything else is bringing up the bathroom. It's big. I can sit on here, put my leg up on here and stuff.
what you guys think down below about this one. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the next part of the house that I'm going to be make over make over ink. Of course, this is rental friendly, but if you have your own house, you can use some of these ideas. Of course, everything is gonna be linked down below in the description box. I did not intend this to be an all gray bathroom, but here we are. <laughs> Even after spending money, I get Yeah, so I'll link other makeover videos that I've done here in Jamaica, and I will see you guys in my next video.